What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Spider-Man Build-A-Figure Green Goblin Spider-Girl figure. There we go, got it all out. Um, this is the Spider-Man wave. Um, the Build-A-Figure Green Goblin, as I've just said, I'm repeating myself. I <laughs> uh, picked her up for $17. There was some... Uh, uh, a seller that was se selling uh, her and Boomerang for $17 each, free shipping, and I jumped on that shit right away. Uh, um, I'm not going to need this Build-A-Figure piece, so if uh, you're looking for it, maybe we could work something out. Just PM me. Don't uh, message me in the comments saying, you know, how much? Just PM me. It's a lot easier that way. Uh, but she does come in this nice window display packaging. Um, it opens up from each side a lot easier. I'm glad they switched to this type of packaging. Um, it makes less of a mess. Um, if you want to repackage your figures and sell them, you could do that as well. Um, I've also noticed that people are stealing these figures. Shut up, Batman. Uh, I've noticed that people are stealing these figures from stores. Shut up, Batman. Um... <laughs> A lot easier because they open up the sides and then I've seen people like replacing older figures with the newer <laughs> ones which makes no sense if you're gonna steal a figure just steal the figure why would you replace it with an older toy biz uh, I don't know it's funny though uh, anyway on the back here you have spider girl and black cat that is the uh, running change um, the other figures in the wave excuse me putting that down um, there's a green goblin build a figure I have to do that review still. Um, uh, is Carnage, Toxin, those are the running change for that. Uh, there is Electro, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Girl, which we're doing right now, and Cat, uh, bleh, Black Cat, I almost said Catwoman. <laughs> I mean, she has a blatant ripoff of Catwoman, let's be honest. Uh, anyway, uh, Ultimate Beetle, Boomerang, and Superior Spider-Man. So let's get her out of packaging, take a closer look at Spider-Girl, woo! Okay, and we're back with Spider-Girl out of packaging, and, you know, she looks pretty cool. Um, I think they got her body right, um, as far as her upper torso, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe is different from Black Hat's. Obviously, the boob size is much different, and it's much slimmer up top. So, I mean, they definitely, uh, they gave her, it looks like they gave her the Black Hat uh, lower half. Because of that booty, girl. Yeah, pop that booty. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the upper torso looks a little bit slimmer. It looks like she's got a different upper torso. So, I think it looks good. They, they did a good job on that. Um, obviously, the, she's just got the regular feet. Um, pretty basic de by design here. Um, she's pretty much just got a black and white suit. That's I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, I noticed that her... Her wrists are very dainty, and by dainty I mean very um, weak. Uh, so I'd be really careful turning her wrists. Her wrist doesn't even want to turn here. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to turn, and it's not, it's not turning. Like it just doesn't want to turn. So, and I get worried about moving. See, it moves fine this way, but as soon as I get around to this point, it really doesn't want to. For some reason, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe lack of uh, lubrication, but uh, uh, this side turns fine. Um, so that's weird. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, her elbows are also really tough to bend. What the hell? She's just really stiff. It's really just really weird. Never had a female figure this stiff before. Usually they're like really loose. But uh, yeah, so let's get in close. Take a look at her face. Oh boy, that's my face. This is her face. Here's her face. Um, I think if overall it's a pretty good face sculpt. I mean, you don't see her eyes or anything, but you're not supposed to. I think it's pretty decent. Um, I believe this is one of the few ponytail uh, f female figures or figures in general that we've gotten. Like, they're pretty rare. We never usually get a ponytail on a figure but uh it looks pretty good I, I i think this is one of their better faces to be honest with you i think it looks pretty it looks uh pretty nice looks uh very nice for a uh for a girl there you go 
But um, anyway, talking about her suit here, um, she's a little bit shorter. And here, let me do a little quick size comparison here. She just, I don't know, she comes off a little bit short. Maybe it's just me. Let's check this out. Here is, yeah, she's a little shorter. She's shorter than this Hasbro Jean Grey or Marvel Girl or whatever you want to call her. Um, she's definitely shorter than her. Um, so she is on the shorter side, which I don't mind. I mean, I'm not sure if Spider Girl is supposed to be really short. I'm assuming she's supposed to probably in her teens or whatever. I don't really know too much about the Spider Girl um, character. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know anything about her. So um, here she is standing up next to, let's do another size comparison here. Here's another female figure. Here's Storm, which I just picked up. And Storm towers over her. She's got about a whole head. She's about a head taller than her, so there you go. So I think she's the right size. I mean, this is a nice teen body. They, if they were going to do more teens, they should uh, go with this body style, I think. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, as far as his, her uh, his artic her articulation, um, she does, her head does move side to side. Can do a full three sixty. Um, her head she's got a really good range of motion in her head because of her ponytail. She doesn't have that long flowing hair, so it doesn't hinder her her uh, her head too much. And she does look down nicely. Really good range of motion. She does have a nice tilt uh, head tilt too. Her arms go up about that far and they go down. They can do a full 360. She's got the single bend at the elbow and the elbow swivel. So you don't have a bicep swivel. She does have a wrist rotation and a wrist hinge. Uh, just, just forewarning everybody, just be careful with these wrists. They just feel, like I said earlier, a little dainty. Um, uh, she does have the diaphragm joint, which I approve of for female figures. So don't have a problem there. No waist swivel. Mm, I guess I don't mind it too much. I guess it's not too bad, but I would prefer a, at least a waist swivel here. I guess, I mean, kind of redundant if you have a swivel at the top and then a swivel at the bottom, but I don't know. That's just me. T-joint hips go out, out, forward, and back a little bit. A little bit hindered because of the butt sculpt. Um, she does have an upper thigh, uh, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot swivel, ankle hinge goes back and forth and that nice ankle pivot so there you go and she does pose nicely she is a little bit on the lighter side I've noticed for a figure in general uh, she feels a little bit lighter than most figures I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I'm going nuts in my old age but uh, yeah she for the most part she looks pretty good um, I definitely didn't pay too much to get her, I know she's going for around 20 bucks. Um, I believe she might be coming more common, more and more common at uh, stores. So um, yeah, you know, paying retail for her isn't too bad. If you can find her for cheaper, like I did, then go for that. But definitely she's a solid figure. Like I said, there's not too much going on, but she doesn't really need too much going on uh, to really, uh, give her the her the, the look that she needs and the function that she needs so she's got d good articulation uh a really nice head sculpt i really dig the head sculpt and uh so yeah definitely gonna recommend this figure two thumbs up i do like it um uh yeah there's nothing else really she doesn't come with any accessories she comes with the upper torso of green goblin that's about it so yeah definitely recommend this figure do it up but uh, yeah, so that's, that's my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Whee!